Every day this week, we're taking a look at the dark side of Xbox mods. Kevin Rose, our dark side tour guide. Earlier in the week, we talked about mod chip replacement dashboards, and now we're going to look at uh, hardware upgrades. The man with the plan, the Xbox plan, Kevin Rose. Welcome back. By the way, Thank before you. we before we start, I just okay. want to say that it's really important that we do this. All right. Xbox mods are not obviously not supported by Microsoft. They don't like the idea of you modifying the hardware here. They could very well be illegal under the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. If you mod your Xbox, you're certainly voiding the warranty because you have mm -hmm. to open it up. You may be breaking the law, and if you do it wrong, and it's easy to do it wrong, you could fry the whole darn thing and you'd be out your Xbox. So, it's a doorstop. It's a doorstop. Yeah. So I. Got to tell you the facts here. Get laid on you straight. Now, uh, on Monday we 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 showed you how people are putting chips into the Xbox that right. enable all the capabilities that, that we're, we've been talking about all week long. Uh -huh. Yesterday we looked at a new uh, kind of user interface, the Evo X replacement dashboard. dashboard. Uh -huh. uh, what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to replace the hard drive. That's the first thing that modders want to do. They want to put a new hard. Now, why hard is that? How big is the uh, the, the, the original? Hard it depends drive? on the model, but they're either eight or ten gigs is the original. Okay. Well, that's enough for saved games. Oh, it's it's plenty for saved games. But you're going to do more with this. Oh yeah, we're going to put a bunch of MP3s on here later in the week. We're going to put uh, video files, uh, back up our games. We're going to need that extra space. Okay. So how big a hard drive can I put in here? You can put up to 140 gig. Really? It's, it's a fairly large hard drive. Okay. But today we're going to put 120 gig. All right. This is the drive that. This is the drive. Now right here. you told me that uh, for some reason modders tend to like Mac Store over all other brands. Why is that? Well, there's a thing called hard drive locking that you have to perform at the very end of installing the drive that I'll, okay. I'll tell you about later. But Mac Store drives have the they're the most likely the ones that you're able to lock. They seem to be the most lock. compatible with this modification. Okay. 7200 RPM, 5400 RPM, does it matter? It really doesn't matter. The 7200 RPM drives are going to get a little hotter than the 5400 RPM. Okay. So some people are concerned about that. They install an extra fan on there to kind of get rid of the heat out the back of the Xbox. But it doesn't matter either way. You don't, I mean, it sounds like for media libraries and stuff like that, speed is not of the essence. Right. And 5400 RPM drives are, of course, cheaper as well. Okay. So uh, obviously, uh, there's no room in here for a second hard drive. Right. Although you told me some people do. Some people do. Some people actually take this entire unit out of the Xbox, get a custom case, Put in three, four hard drives. Put a switcher in there. They get pretty crazy with yeah, it. Really? Again, and this is the same thing I keep coming back to all week long. It blows me away the lengths people will go to modify something like this, mm -hmm. and the things they'll do. So in this case, we're the the, the, and the most common mod is to take the existing hard right. drive out and replace it. Now, but all my stuff's on here. What do right. I? Don't I need this? Well, you do. The first thing you're going to have to do, actually, even before you take the drive out, yeah. is remember yesterday we showed you how we had the uh, Evo X software installed. Right. Well, that enabled the FTP server. So there is an FTP server as soon as you're booting to that Evo X disk. Exactly. Okay. And so what you're going to want to do then is back up your uh, operating system, which is on your C drive. Okay. And you're going to also want to back up your E drive, which is all your saved games. You don't want to lose all your saved games. Absolutely. That you've had. So basically, what they do is they make a copy of this drive. Right. First, but not uh, onto the other drive no. directly. They make it on their PC first. Just they, they drag and drop it to their desktop okay. is what they do and disable okay. the files there. Then what? Then after that, you can go ahead and turn off the Xbox, and they take the drive out by uh, using the Torx wrenches that we talked about okay. earlier. Once this again, week. that's kind of a mild kind of copy protection that Microsoft's put in there, but these are uncommon screw right. heads. And you have to go get a special driver to do it. But it's, you just pull that out. Yeah, just pull that out. There's actually one screw uh, to release it. I'm noticing here this coil. I'm wondering, should people be worried about, I mean, is there a, th a danger of electrocuting yourself? Definitely. This, uh, I'll tilt this up here so you can see. This uh, power supply is completely uncovered. Again, so Microsoft doesn't expect people to open this up. So they don't put any normal, you know, any protection. There's a there. danger of being shocked there for sure. So be very, if you're going to do this, be very, very careful. Yeah, I don't even touch anywhere near this side of the case right, because right. of all those. Even if it's unplugged, as we've learned from other devices, you can still shock yourself pretty badly. Okay, so uh, the drive is out. So at that point, you just swap the drive out. Standard IDE drive, okay. standard IDE cable. Master slave setting matter. Or? You take it off and set it to cable select. Really? Now that's interesting because I haven't seen a PC Not use many cable select in years. Nowadays, but, so they're uh, using cable select to determine whether that's master or slave. Okay. Yeah, set it to cable. That's very important. Otherwise, you'll start Where getting Where do people find out all this stuff? Did, is it trial and error or? Well, there's a lot of tutorials online. There's this uh, stuff's all documented online. Yeah, there, there's, there's a few websites. Xbox-scene.com uh, right. is, a, is a big one. Right. And uh, a lot of people does go there and does read Microsoft the shut these sites down or are they? I mean, it's free information. 
they're right. not actually uh, distributing any of the programs. They're or not doing anything illegally. Just exactly. telling people how to do it. How to do it. So presumably, they're, you know, Microsoft may not be happy about it, but there's there's not much they can do. About exactly. It. So all right, we've we've got the old drive out. We've got the new drive new in. New drive in. See this is backup. a blank drive. We've got to blank format drive. and partition it, right? Nothing's been done to the drive. It's okay. factory. You just open it up, put it in. So what do they do now? Now what you do is we'll go back here to our back to Evo X. This is Evo X. And, uh, now, you can't boot to the hard drive, right? So you have to boot from a DVD? Boot from a DVD. So okay. you, you burn a DVD with the Evo X uh, with a custom INI file in there. And what that INI file is going to say is it's going to say how to partition and set up those, the hard drive for you so it's ready for use. Okay. It, it in, in effect adds this new menu command. Adds this new menu command right here. It says install new drive. And what, now, we're not going to do it because uh, it will erase this drive, but right. what would happen if I selected that? Well, it's just going to say, uh, I believe it prompts you, are you sure? And then it goes through and uh, go ahead and partitions and formats all the drive letters for it you. It does. Now, as I remember last time, there are six partitions on this drive mm -hmm. normally, the A, B, C, or C, D, E, and X, Y, and Z. Does it make those? Uh, yes, it does. It does it give you a chance up. to set the sizes of those? Uh, no, it does not. You can define that in the INI file, though. There's certain okay. ways to define what goes where. Is there a, I mean, what do people say about the sizes? I mean, uh, Well, the default settings are, are pretty much... Uh, what to go with, but the F drive is the one that you have to keep as your largest uh, partition. That's where you put your media files and your backup. Correct. Games. Okay. The C is where the operating system is. The D is saved games. The oh no, the D uh, is the uh, DVD ROM. Oh okay. The so F drive is where all e your applications is saved go. saved games and F is where uh, your data goes. Correct. Okay. And then we don't know what the XYZ is. The other ones are for cache. I've heard they're for gaming cache. When you're playing a certain game, it's okay. going to write certain cache files. Temp here. files. Temp files, yeah, okay, exactly. Got it. All right. So it's partitioned. Do we have to do any blessing or anything? I mean, is it, do we have to tell the drive how to be? Or is there, you know, because I, I know with the TiVo, in order to put another drive in, I had to bless it. I had to right. tell it, oh, you're a TiVo drive. Now. Right. Well, here's the thing. You can play uh, with, the, with the mod chip just fine at this point. It'll work just fine. But okay. if you decide to use the Xbox Live and turn the mod chip off, when you turn your Xbox back on and then the Microsoft BIOS comes up, it's going to look at the drive and say, I don't know what this drive is. This is a foreign drive to me. It'll give you an error message. Well, is it going to uh, lock you out of Xbox Live forever? Yeah, it won't, it won't let you even get into the interface. But, but, but is it going to disable your ability to go to Xbox Live as it did if it saw the mod chip? Remember that? Well, it won't because you, you can't even get to that point yet. You, you can't get, get to on. Xbox Live. Got yeah. I got it. Okay. So, so how do we get around that? Well, there's a utility called HD Lock. And it's a, I have all the instructions on the website, but it, you have to get a serial number, and then you have to bless the hard drive with a special key, and then it knows that the, the key has been blessed, and you turn off the mod chip, and essentially when you restart the machine, the box is going to think that it has a factory Xbox hard drive, and Xbox Live will work, and everything else works just that fine. That might, sounds to me, that might be another case of where they're circumventing uh, some copy protection. That might be another place where you're breaking the law with the DMCA. I would think so. I'm not yeah, sure, but yeah. uh, it sounds like it. So they, they've done all this. <laughs> I'm sure torn their hair out a little bit, but they've got the hard drive in. What are they going to do with it? Well, now it's time to fill it up. <laughs> we're going to fill it up with all kinds of stuff. All right, that's, and we're going to save that for tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? yeah, Actually, definitely. Two days of filling up your hard drive. We've got media stuff going on there, and we're going to have backed up games, and we're going to talk more about that uh, in the next couple of days as Kevin continues, our tour guide from the dark side. For more information on Xbox hard drive mods, check out his article at thescreensavers.com.